Hello guys, today we'll be playing Crash Bandicoot One of my favorite games of all time So let's start cra with Crash Bandicoot 1 uh, I want to practice some English speaking And why not practice while playing my favorite game Moron! This bandicoot will be my general my Cortex Commandos to world domination! This time, I shall reign triumphant! <laughs> we are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the Vortex! Dr. <laughs> Cortex, the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> This game looks amazing, man. I when they announced this, I was so happy. All of the nostalgia and all of the memories came back to me and look, look at his fur. Come on. This is so cool. So I'm not a bad player in this game. Let's see how this walkthrough goes. Crash Bandicoot 4 is coming in two weeks. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play it because I don't have a PlayStation 4. But there were some rumors saying that it will come out on PC. And I hope those rumors will be true. There were also some rumors about Crash Team Racing also coming to PC, but that didn't work out well. So we got the Burbuka, Aku Aku Mask. You need Aku Aku to make your life easier on the right path here. You break this, and then you run. And I, I missed it up, but it's okay. This. If I die here, I don't know, man. It's okay, we got it. We need two more crates that are here. In this remaster, they added the box count. In the original, you couldn't even know how many boxes you had to collect. So we got the gem. And also, you if you died, the boxes you had... Uh, destroyed before the checkpoint still didn't count so you if you died you wouldn't get the gem but here you can die and that's not a big problem dying is not a problem in this game although they left some levels the colored gem levels where if you die get the gem this game is brilliant I love it make sure you wait for the Aku Aku mask mask to go out because if you have it on and you're invincible and you get another Aku Aku Mask, it won't give you the power-up, it will just do nothing. Get these. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the crates, the crates jam in this level, because 
We'll have to come back to this level after we get a colored gem. I don't remember the color of it. I think it's green. I might be mistaken. I don't know. I really hate when people make leave Wumpa fruits and not pick it up. Crash Bandicoot 1 was the hardest game for me in my childhood because, well this was my first game, but I beat Crash Bandicoot 3 first, then the second one, and it was this was the third one I beat because this was the most challenging and hard Crash Bandicoot of all of them. And uh, I would often give the controller to my brother, <laughs> who would also try to beat the levels, but in vain because this game was so hard. The Great Gate. This is, to be honest, one of my favorite levels in the game. A lot of people don't like this level. But, I don't know, it has its originality, and I love it. Yeah, if you spin on these boxes, you won't jump. This is really handy in the bonus, bonus stages we will see in the future. We got the invincibility mask again, kill these turtles, we got Tana again. I hate this monkeys, man. I used to hate them when I was little. I couldn't understand what they did. Like, I was five years old. I tried to spin them when they roll, but they are invincible when they roll. Look, like, he's gonna roll right now, and if you try to spin him during that, he is invincible. And I was like spinning and spinning and how was that not a bounce? I don't understand. But okay. We still can't get the gem here, so that's not a problem. We can leave on Aku Aku Mask. This guy was so annoying too. It took me a lot of time to figure out this was a thing. Wumpa fruits. I always thought those were apples or peaches. Sometimes I thought those were apples, and sometimes I thought those were peaches. But after discovering internet, Wikipedia, and all that stuff, now I know it's Wumpa fruit. There weren't a lot of hints during my childhood. You just had to figure all by yourself. See the hint down there? You didn't get those on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> all you got was dead. This is also okay because we need the, I think the red gem, no, no, the red gem is on the second island. You need some gem to get the rest of it. That's also okay. Now boulders, this level is also cool. I love when you try to run and you don't see what's coming. This is so gorgeous. Do you see that light coming? This is how I remember Crash Bandicoot 1 on the PlayStation 1. But it obviously does not look like this. It's just nostalgia speaking.
These soundtracks just give me shivers. I love it. So if you leave the boxes, the rock will break it for you, but in, on the original, you had to make sure that you break them because the rock didn't have the ability to break, break the boxes for you, so that was a little annoying back then, but they changed that, so it will break it now, it, and it did, but on the original it wouldn't and you had to restart the level. And also you couldn't just die right here to get that box because all of the other boxes would just respawn. And yeah, you understand what I'm saying. Loading the Wumpa Islands. Upstream. Look at the water, come on. Isn't this just fantastic? Damn, let's go. I have a bad memory with this level, so I'm 5 years old, playing this game on my PlayStation 1. There's also a monkey on this level, I think, or it might be, oops, it might be the second version of this level. So I can't beat the monkey, that ma monkey just rolls and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't even figure that I can't just jump and leave that monkey. So I give my brother my controller. And my brother loved to annoy me when I was a kid. He would get the controller and jump in the water just to make me mad. So I had an obsession with Crash Bandicoot. I loved him, I adored him. And whenever he died, a part of me died as well, so when I saw him kill Crash, and not accidentally, I harnessed all my power in my hand and punched him in the face with all my might. Then, after that, my father came in, my big father, brother was crying, he asked what happened, he of course told him, and I was standing at the corner for like, what, 20 minutes? That was really sad, I just tried to defend Crash from my brother. And I was standing at the corner as punishment. That was so sad. Okay, let me save this game. This is the save. I just glitched the lives, so I just saved it just for you to see here. I got 100 lives. There's a glitch in this game. And you can get 100 lives. Maybe even more, I don't know. The max life count here is 99 they made Papu Papu way easier in the remaster because he only has wait no they made him harder because the original had him in the original he had three lives yeah now he has five this is really easy Nothing really extraordinary at the look at that ass. That's what I like to see. Bounce on that fupa and get out. Roll 
Rolling Stone. This level, I love it. It's the same as the other ones, but a little different. And there is a hard bon bonus stage you can get. We still won't be able to get the gem crate gem because we need a blue gem. We will find in the future. So let's just beat the level for now. I'm still gonna get the Rio. See, this is Nitrous Rio. And you get his first face here somewhere. When you jump on the bouncing crate, you get another life. Checkpoint. Let's go. If you spin them, they will give you the Aku Aku. Now, I'm not gonna jump, I'm gonna wait because there is a hidden and real face on the top left, as I remember, and the middle one is alive. So, if I jump, the TNT will explode and kill Embryo. So, we need the Embryo right now. I'm just gonna show you. Here it is. And this is the life one. Let's jump now. Oh, that dust. Kill this turtle. Get another checkpoint. I thought there was nothing here and I would die, but... This is Tona, I think. Yep. The soundtracks are really good. Were they killing it in the studio? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Got that. Alright. This falls down, we gotta be fast. Oh, I almost killed Tana. If you spin a bump of fruit or collectibles, they will fly away and you won't collect them. I'll go back for these, of course. Snatched by Cortex once again. And the original Tana just stood there as you finish the bone stage, but now Cortex snatches her. I fucked up, I think. No, no, I didn't. Okay. Now, this is the embryo bone stage. It is a lot harder than Tana's bone stage, but it's doable. I fucked up! No, I didn't. So you wait for that. This stage is also so cool. You get these lives. And he explodes, yeah. Nothing interesting about that. Yeah, we completed the level. It was fun. We missed six boxes. But we are not able to get them right now. And we'll have to come back for them later. Next level. Hog Ride? I love that level. Come on. Let, let it be Hog Ride. Yes. Let's save it. We are already 16% in. Hold jump to bounce higher on drums. This was also a big obstacle for me when I was on young because I didn't understand that you had to jump on the drums to get over the fall. And I lost a lot of lives here. Controlling the hog is easier here than the original thing, as I remember. These drums would always kill me, like always. 
I didn't know you had to jump on them. Another checkpoint. Where are you going? Yeah, okay. Left now. Like this part on the original was so hard to get all the boxes. Our brothers are on that wheel spinning as we destroy these crates right side, yeah. We got the clear gem, the level is over, it's perfect, we got the gem. Continue. So this is the last level of the island, for the first island. The first island is the easiest here because like it's the introductory island. Hint, dying a lot. Keep an eye out for new checkpoints. Yeah, that's a great mechanic of this game. So it means that if you're struggling a lot, the game will give you checkpoints, new checkpoints. Like if I died here for some reason, I don't know, you can't die here, but for example, if I died here a lot, uh, to this tur turtle maybe, if I died to him 10 times or something, the next box here could be a, you know, would be a checkpoint. It would give you new checkpoints so that the level would become easier. Well, it is a checkpoint, but if it was a normal crate, it would become a checkpoint because you were losing a lot. This is something I learned that if you jump and spin, they automatically become what they have to become. I don't. Sometimes when I try to speak in English, it's not my uh, mother language. I lose. I forget a lot of words I want to use. Uh, right now I'm trying to uh, speak, I'm trying to record videos, publish on YouTube, as if I have an audience, just to make my speaking better. So as you use, as you do something, you do it again and again. You get experience, and you, it gets easier time to time, so I want to do ILTS, I don't know if this pandemic will let me do that, but I'll, I will try. So for the speaking, the speaking part of the exam, I'm trying to speak and get accustomed to the words I'll have to use in a normal speak, speak exam. So, let's see what these videos will do. I fell down, that's sad. Okay, I don't care about those crates. I mean, won't prefer. There's this hidden place you can jump to. There is no boxes at the left side. Right here. You see this guy standing. These torches light up. You can't just skip it here. Till here. And you'll have to go back. And continue your, your journey the normal way. We got a checkpoint. Kill this monkey. Okay, let's wait. This game is patience. If you rush, you will die. Time your stuff. Like right there, if I used my jump button to bounce higher, I wouldn't make it in time for that torch to be off. We wait here, we need the gem to get the crates. I almost died, I didn't want to jump so early, but I still did. And this is the place you want to stand, 
Or you will take a hit and die, maybe. Oops. I almost... I thought I died, but no, you're okay. So Crash Bandicoot 1 and Crash Bandicoot 2 were not made for time trials. And they are so hard in this game. Like, really, really hard. We missed some gems. Let's get these for the extra life. We're on 52 lives already. So guys, leave a like. Leave a comment what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm not trying to like be a professional YouTuber or something. I'm just trying to practice my speaking, communicate with you, have fun. I love this game and see you next time. Goodbye.